All right, everybody. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Lone Oak Farms. Mr. Blue, your host, maybe, sometimes, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, I know I said I'd bring y'all back tomorrow when after the rain. But something just told me to do it today. Do it today. The same same record, you know, you know it's a different episode, but same day. I went and got some fertilizer. I hope I got enough. I should have 20 liters left. But we got the big planter, the 12 row up there going across the top. We want to get this guy going across the ends and then start down on this end. But uh, I, I think everything's going to be all right. If I can get this auger to line up. Um... Yeah, the wet symbol went away, so I'm like, it, it's got to be safe to plant. If not, you know, we'll know next time. Uh, 40%? Anyway, we got to take this guy back to the shop real quick. All right. I got the truck up here and got it parked. Now I'm getting in my pickup truck. Don't hit the mower. Ooh, that was close. Whoa. We're going to drive back out there getting our tractor and hopefully beat the rain on this field. We got to hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, I had to borrow about 15000 from the bank to get us some fertilizer. I have not took no contracts yet, and I should have. I forgot about that and I just started recording. Like I said, I'm in a hurry. And I don't know why. Oh, wait a second. I do know why. We got to get planting. Oh, this truck can run. Found on road dead. Well, wait. No, ain't first on race day. <laughs> there we go. Can't, can't hate the Ford now. I used to own a couple of them. Got Chevy's too. All right. Let's get in here. Get this baby fired up. I said get this baby fired up. What is going on? Oh, I'm on the uh, it'd help if I was on the right button. Alright. Uh, close lid. Go to the next one. Close lid. Actually, while we're there, we're going to wrong one. Turn on sower. Switch to the next one, close lid, turn on solar planter, I'll call it, and switch to that and turn it on, so all of them should be on. Now, if I remember right, Control shift v should lower all of them down. We should be good to go. Now I got it on the 8245R or whatever it's called. Let's get rid of this box. We're just going to go across this end. This tractor pulls a whole lot better, don't it? I'm going to go across this end here to give him some room. kind of like a setup as long as we got something big to pull it this tractor if it had the bigger motor in it I think it would do good pulling it so yeah but let me get across these ends and uh, I think I do a round on each end that way it help have plenty of room now I see we're getting weeds in the field too we're gonna have uh oh we're starting to struggle He's doing pretty good on this end, so maybe this uh a through, but I'm gonna go ahead and go back down anyway, start on that side. But uh I'll be back in a minute, folks. Alright, I done got down by the cow pasture here. And the last episode I forgot to tell y'all. What did the farmer say to the cows at nighttime? 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you now since I didn't tell you last episode. Sorry about that. Here's the insert now of what he says. Can you see the picture? What do you think about that, huh? Pass your old bedtime. I, I like that. Pastor, it's pastor time. Pass your old bedtime. Yeah. Uh huh. Anyway, folks. I think we're going. I'm not even going to open my mouth on. Time I make a round or two. If I can stay focused here, I, I need to get GPS on for sure. Even if it ain't the true. Just something to make a straight line with. I don't know why my R button ain't working. The left alt and R is supposed to correct the line of the straightness, but what I'm going to do, I'll show you here in a second what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep them running while I'm turning around here. And you see how the line is not straight now, but I need to be right here. Hit all home and up, page up, and voila. I got somewhat of a straight line. And of course, I'm overlapping a lot. If I'm on the first one, I can push that and out just a little bit more. Now I'm going to just kind of straighten this out. By the time I get it straightened out, we should be doing pretty good and um, I'll probably be doing a couple more episodes of, of this but instead of uh, Midwest Horizons because this just seems to be doing better so control shift and V. I'm supposed to raise all of them up. If you well, never mind. I take it back. I'm not losing fertilizer when all of them's raised. So that's a good thing. Alright. I guess I'm on to uh bring y'all back here in a minute guys and girls because it's going to take this a little bit longer to get straight here and get over this a little bit more about right there uh, home button alt home button and page up and you just hold your alt button down and you hit home and then page up and that moves your line over. But you can engage it to make sure it works. Which I got my reverse button set. All I have to do is tap my reverse. Off, on. And I find that makes it so much easier. And you go in your, uh, home, your menu settings where you set all your controls up and stuff. And go on there and set it to that. Just hit the Xbox controller side of it and hit the button you want and voila. I like these planters three at a time, maybe five at a time. I can understand it covers some ground. But when you just got one or two, it, it don't really do nothing folks it, I mean it's just really really uh, slow there we go just barely on that and this tractor is about out of fuel oh my goodness forgot to fuel up 
Man, we're almost out of money again. Man, I'm going to have to borrow some money. I, I know what I'm going to do after we get this field planted. We're going to be caught up anyway. So what I'm going to do is get our new tractor hook up to the stump grinder and take out some trees that are around the shop and sell some wood chips. Uh, the straight ones I'm going to auto load into the semi truck. Heck, might do all of them that way. I don't know. But we're, we're going to do something. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to stay on this line right here. And then turn like this. Please get it. Please. Oh, probably going to be a skip there, but it's all right. I'm going to do a big U-turn here. Make sure I get all that right there. And I'm going to miss that part. Okay, we'll come back and get that. Get that part up. Yeah, close enough. Good. I'm going to go ahead and go down here and see what he's doing. What I'll probably do is unload these seeds into him. That's another thing. The 5,000 liter seed boxes, don't get them. Do one or two. Or do the bags. I, I've been doing the bag pallets. Well, the pallets with the bags on them. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just raise up right here. And get past him. He looks like he's doing good. And just remember, he don't put down no fertilizer. Now, that's one thing I wonder. I think he got this done. I'm going to go up here real quick. Yes, it's all done. Good. Whoa, I don't want to turn that. Ooh, I'm drifting. That was way too fast. That wasn't realistic at all, now was it? We're going to stop right here for a second. And I need to turn this. I need to turn this right here off. I turned that on in the other field and forgot to turn it back off. Let's go in here. Go or turn those two off. See, he's he's putting down a because here's where I planted. Okay, this is first, second, and third stages of fertilization. I'm fertilizing this side for sure, but he's not. Uh, Sorry, she, Miss Sandra, is on that tractor. My bad. That's why she's doing a good job. But look, this is not supposed. It's supposed to be the same as this here. So that tractor is fertilizing and not even getting charged for it. Where, where is that? Is it this one? No. Uh, Bell is created at 102. It's this one here. Fuel. Seed fertilizer is off, but it's still putting down a stage of fertilization. We're going to free fertilize out of that plant somehow or another. Okay, we are almost done. I'm going to bring y'all back here in a minute when we're almost done, folks. That way, we'll know for sure. I'm going to finish that, then scoot over. Um, that way y'all know that down that should be that yeah that's that's down that way y'all can see what it looks like when I get done finished with it finish planting that so it'll be even and I'm just going to scoot over a little at a time about like that oh oh that won't be long at all okay well I'll bring y'all back here in a minute folks all right well, we're almost done. Well, this guy's done. Miss Sanders still out there working on the uh, the last three. And I gotta remember this guy needs some diesel, but we're minus eight dollars. So that means we're gonna have to uh, borrow some money, have him bring some fuel in. Never fails. 
I'm on this little strip here to get uh, the last bail made. Didn't want to just leave a bail in the bailer all the time. Plus, we, we traded that. Y'all should have saw the inserts on that in the last episode. Which I'm recording both episodes the same day, so. Yeah. But anyway, I'll show y'all. I don't think I showed you in the last episode. This is the new bailer here. The coon. And it's square bail. I was going to go with the coon round bell with the wrapper on the back. But this, this guy over here does just as good. I wish I had a hitch on the back of this thing. Which I don't see now. That stick that pretty far. Where you hook that on. And it do it all in one go. But it's alright. So we might use something else. Uh, let's tab over to Miss Sandra and see. Yeah, she's on the last three. Last through there. Alright, you can see what's left there, folks, right here. That's the last through that needs to be planted. Um, 29, 32 are all fertilized completely. Uh, I need to get on my butt and get in gear and fertilize this again. So it'll be this color. And hopefully we can get a chance to get that color. But uh, yeah, all, all three, no, all four of these fields need it. And I might come across here and see if I can spray this. And as you can see, 29 and 32 has got weeds in it. So the big sprayer is going to go to pesticide. The little sprayer is going to go to uh, fertilizer. So that's probably be in the next episode. But yeah, this is uh, the last three here. Hop out and hop back in real quick. And you see Miss Sandra down there at the bottom is planting her soybeans. Last through. I can't believe it. Everything we got planted, so well, we can just make it through the harvest. Actually, we just make it probably 64 hours from now or something like that. I don't even know. Uh, let's take a look at that. I actually go back to this truck and we'll walk from there. Uh, check these out here. I gotta get a chainsaw getting on my nerves. 65 hours to go. So, yeah. And we'll be able to sell these bad boys. Uh, what was it? 22, uh, 23 bales at, um, let's see here, sellage, sellage. Um, yeah, I cannot believe pays more than sellage. But sellage, 403 still. That price has not moved or changed or nothing. And I don't think this price has changed. Not very much. It's still 1200 and something for hay. Of course, hay is harder to make. But anyway, I um, think that's going to do it, folks. I'm going to, like I said, put the wood chipper on this guy. And let me show you real quick. Next episode, we're going to be, of course, fertilizing. But we're also, these trees here, we're going to take some of these out. But these here, I'm going to load in. I might load some of these, the straight parts of them anyway, on the truck. I'm going to do that. And we're just going to come in here and cut out some of these trees. And I know we got a grain silo there. But I don't think that grain silo holds very much. Uh, oh, on the right one. Just got to go over. Go over. Come on. What should a wheel would work at? Um, total capacity, 14,190. We get 304. So we don't have very much capacity in this silo. So we might be putting down a couple more other silos here. And that'll be in the future. Or some kind of silo. We are putting down grain tanks or building with uh, auger and stuff. So... Yeah, I wish I can go in GE, which is Giants Editor. Anybody out there has any idea. I got Windows 10. Uh, it's here. Is it HP? Yeah, I think it's HP. Here at Packer. 
uh, it's the i3 40 series, I guess. Uh, it's like 4430 or something uh, on the numbers. Uh, anybody knows, I'll get your exact numbers. Uh, but what it's doing when I open GE on any mod, a map, tractor, covator, whatever, it won't, all it does, it'll open up the background, you know, like the pre version of GE where you, you know, right before it pops a map up or whatever you're working on, there'll be something in front of it, like the tutorial and, uh, editing for dummies or whatever that, that list there will pop that up too and then just go I mean it's not even two seconds of doing this. So I'll open up to, for two seconds go ding and close right back out. Uh, I think it's some kind of security issue or something. I took my firewall out and got the mod folder system to work but I haven't got any mods in there yet. So yeah if anybody knows anything about GE and Windows 10 on here at Packer i3. Please leave me a comment saying you can help me. I really need some help. I would love to take some stuff out like like this solo, solo silo out here. I'd love to take this out and put some grain bins in down through here. Maybe grain bin extensions to add to that or something, but yeah, I just I just don't know folks. Anyway, Miss Sanders should be done by now. Oh, yeah. She done. She started on this hood. Okay. Uh, folks, that's going to conclude it. I appreciate y'all coming out. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all are amazing. What for y'all? I wouldn't be doing this. Okay. Yeah, I would. But y'all just make it more fun. I love the comments and stuff. And love I get from y'all. It's so awesome. We didn't use very much seeds at all. That's good. All right, folks. I'm going to get off here. And like I said, next episode, we'll probably be spraying. I um, think I will fast forward till tomorrow. It's supposed to be a little bit better. So we'll have, it'll give me more time to get things done and stuff. And dodge this rain here in the next hour or so. There's, yeah. About 1800, it's supposed to be raining, so. And again, it might not. So you never know. I know I, know I need to do some contracts too, so we might be doing them too. So, uh, yeah. Folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I'm going to get off here. I'll rub my mouth enough. Bye.